¿Cómo serán los coches del futuro? ¿Cómo se moverán? ¿Y los interiores? ¿Qué tecnología ofrecerán? ¿Cómo serán los asistentes a la conducción? Joachim Kunz, responsable del producto en el centro de IMAX de que Mazda tiene en Alemania, tiene las respuestas. Yeah, we will see a combination of both. Uh, evolution means we will continue to develop new cars uh, in the current lineup for the Mazda 2, Mazda 3, Mazda uh, 6 and CX models. Uh, but uh, already towards revolution is they will be based on completely new platforms with much better performances and going the Japanese premium direct chain. And uh, the real revolution, uh, yeah, I can start with a new generation of gasoline and diesel engines, which will be uh, very unique uh, with a new combustion process. And uh, after that, we will uh, develop electrification for the models, different type of hybrid up to real electric vehicles. Yeah, we believe that the combustion engine will remain dominant in this time frame because the pure electric vehicle cannot meet the requirements of the customers at the moment and the infrastructure is not ready. So therefore we believe it's most efficient to use the large remaining potential of the combustion engines and then as next step introduce the electrification starting with mild hybrid systems and later plug-in hybrid systems and for this we establish our building block strategy so this means we develop both systems in parallel electric and combustion engines and we are able to combine them uh, according to the demand of the customers we believe that the gasoline engine has still a very large potential for improvement and the best example is the skyactive x engine uh, which is combining the advantages of gasoline and diesel engine. So today still uh, diesel engine offer the better fuel economy because of the lean air fuel mixture and the compression ignition. And Mazda succeeded to implement uh, those both functions to the gasoline engine. So that means Skyactiv-X X is using gasoline fuel uh, together with compression ignition like on diesel engine. And such concept was known as HCCI. Uh, homogeneous charge compression ignition and uh, yeah, other famous makers uh, were developing this but could not uh, reach the mass production level and uh, that's because it was working only at the lower load and lower RPM which is not sufficient for the normal customer driving. We will introduce this engine in the Mazda 3 and uh, we will have the same fuel economy as the Mazda 2 diesel engine at the moment together with an acceleration like MX-5 in the bigger Mazda 3. Yeah, for this uh, we established our technology launch, launch plan uh, for the oncoming vehicle generations and uh, yeah, we've been talking already about the Skyactiv X gasoline engine which will be introduced in 2019 but as we believe as well in the future of the diesel engine, we are developing a completely new Skyactiv diesel engine as well. And yeah, we are working on mild hybrid systems, but as well on a battery electric vehicle and uh, with a range extender, which is again very special because this will be a rotary engine. Uh, this offers a lot of uh, advantages for the range extender concept. And yeah, for the other vehicle areas uh, in the direction of autonomous driving, we are developing our co-pilot system, uh, but uh, still we believe that the driver should play an active role and enjoy the driving, but supported uh, by a lot of advanced uh, driver support systems. The direct translation of the Jimba Itai is the oneness of horse and rider. For us, of course, it means uh, car and driver. And this is the slogan uh, for our human-centered development philosophy. Uh, we believe that all car attributes have to be adjusted to the human characteristics. And then, as a result, the car will be very easy and safe to drive. 
And uh, so our aim is the completely intuitive control by the driver and then the driver can feel this oneness with the car. And uh, to achieve this we study a lot of external sciences such as uh, medicine, psychology, neurosciences, robotics and uh, we can find out uh, what is the natural behavior of the human, how the human control their bodies and which recognition and reaction is natural. And after that applied to the car, the car will be completely natural and predictable. El futuro es un reto continuo, un desafío constante. Es mejorar lo que ya es bueno, buscar los límites de la ingeniería para aprovecharlos y para ser únicos. En Mazda trabajan cada día para llegar al futuro y eso es apasionante. Música